Hello and welcome back to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast, Season 3. I'm so excited. I'm about to introduce my new guest for this week. Feel free to get in touch with my guest because all the information about it it will be on the description of each episode. You will find the website, social media, contact number, email, everything that my guest will provide, even a promo, something that you can get as a freebie because you've been listening, because you've been here with us. And don't forget, follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, by Women Flicks. You will find all this information and much more. Get connected with us. Find more about what we do. And feel free to get in touch. My name is Yola Bast, and I'm here with my guest that I'm about to introduce. So, sit down, relax, and enjoy. For today's podcast, my guest is Lincoln Cochran. Lincoln is the founder of his business partners, LLC. Lincoln also wrote two books, The Verse for the Day and With Passion. He is an international speaker and he calls himself the Learn Novator. It's b- He's been on 37 countries, and his mission is to help people be the best they were designed to be. Let's welcome Lincoln Cochran. Hello, Lincoln, and welcome to my podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Yola, for inviting me. And so far, all our conversations have been very pleasant. I'm looking forward to a wonderful time today with you. Fantastic. Thank you. So tell me, what is... I know you wrote a book, or more than one, right? How many books have you written so far? Well, I've written two books. I've got two books published. The first one I was published back in like 2015 and the title of that book was First First for the Day. Oh. And it's a a daily devotion, Yola, but it's a a daily devotion with a twist in that it's not just a Bible verse and an exhortation or explanation. It's more than that. I'm encouraging people to journal their life. Fabulous. I like it. So on every page, they will get, okay, after the verse and the exhortation, then they will get a statement. God bless me today when he, and I'm telling people, don't write that you woke up this morning because the rest of the world woke up too. (laughs) You know, look for that specific blessing that you and you alone got. And for me today, it might be the time I spend with Yola on the phone. (laughs) <laughs> yes, it's, it's a blessing it's a it's uplifting just to hear your laugh and to your, your voice you know it's it's a blessing yes, totally. and then the next thing i tell people god use me today how did god use you what did you do to glorify him and it doesn't have to be a big deal it can be just saying hello to a stranger or good morning to a stranger or putting a smile on a person's face you know, for me today, what I share with you, maybe that's what it's going to be for me today. Yeah, that's true. And then the third thing I tell, I need to ask God to forgive me. Who knows, we don't know 
you know, we might make a mistake, we might do something that we didn't want to do, we might say something, we might ignore somebody. So, you now the intention is to help people to become more aware, aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit in their life every day and how he guides us and how he bless us and how he forgive us. That's really amazing. So th- this, for my listeners to understand, this book, the um, the daily, re- like the daily life, like reading, is like for reading every single day one sentence or one phrase. You you get a v- a, a, a verse. For, it's, the title of the book is Verse for the Day, and it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, and it's verse for the day, and it's got a verse for every single day of the year. Wow, that's great. Yes. And it's so, like I was trying to say, I want to make sure the listeners understand, this is a Christian book, right, Lincoln? We are talking about Christianity. Yes, it, it has, it's a Christian book. It was totally inspired by the Holy Spirit. I'm a Christian. That's. that's I'm a Christian. Everything I do, is inspired by the Holy Spirit. I try to glorify Him in my thoughts, in my words, and my actions. Marvelous. That's beautiful. So yes. what is the name of your other book? The, the other book is most, more recently published last year, June, and the title is With Passion. Okay, with Passion. And this, yeah, Yola, and this is exciting. The subtitle is Stop Working, Start Performing. Talk more yeah. about it. Tell me more. Well, you're like, you know, in the world today, yeah. you know, you've heard about the 80 20 rule where 20% of the people are, are doing 80% of the work. Okay, yes. Well, yeah. when my mission is to reduce, to increase that 20% as uh, much as possible and reduce the 80%. Mm-hmm. Too many people in the world today, in their life, in in their job, at church, in in their families, are settling for okay. Or oh, that will do, and and that's good enough. And and you know, and look at the impact. Think about it. The auto industry, how many recalls they have because somebody didn't finish their job. Somebody said, that's okay, that will work. You know? Yes. yes. So my, my mission is to encourage people to do your best. Be the best that the Lord designed you to be. Don't settle for okay. You know, God does not make okay. He makes great. Greatness. In yeah. In that choose. So in a nutshell, you know, a lot of I've heard speakers talk about passion. I've heard coaches ask their athletes or their players, give me more heart, give me more passion. But I've never heard somebody explain what is this passion all about? Is it just a feeling? Is it just a sizzle that comes and goes and it only works when things are going great? What is it? Well, the Lord bless me, Yola. He blessed me with a definition, a simple definition of what passion is all about, that anybody at any level, at any educational level, any age can embrace it. Because until you embrace something, until you believe it, you're not going to apply it. That's amazing. So in a nutshell, he told me, take the P in passion, take pride in what you do. Now, Yola, this pride I'm talking about here is not the hoity-toity chip on your shoulder. Look at me, I got the, the corner office, I'm driving a Mercedes Benz, you know? No, not that type of pride. I'm talking about the personal pride. The pride that you take at the end of a project or at the end of the day, you can look in the mirror and say, I did my best today. Totally. That's the type of pride we're talking about here. Then the the A in passion is attitude. People who have a passion for 
for what they do. They always have a positive attitude. They look for the silver lining in every situation. Like, for example, let's look at this, what's happening in the world today, the coronavirus. There is so much good coming out of this, Yola. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing so many people showing gratitude to teachers, to nurses, people who are like the lost, forgotten, the set aside. But yeah. it's happening. Look at what's happening in the, on the internet. Zoom stock is going through the roof. You know, yesterday, only yesterday, I hosted a birthday party on Zoom for my niece. We had such a great time. Yes, he's totally yeah. yeah. So, so this virus, me personally, I am now launching online more all my courses online. I wanted to do it for a long time, but the virus situation has prompted me to speed up the process. Fantastic. So that hey, attitude, what a bless, attitude. right? What a bless. Huh? what a bless. It's yeah, a bless. it's a blessing. Yeah. Your attitude towards life determines life's attitude towards you. And I, I tell people, if you get up in the morning and you say to yourself, today is going to be a crappy day, I'm going to know what to do today. Well, it's going to be a crappy day. Life is not going to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah. But if you get up in the morning and you say, today is going to be a great day, I'm going to, make, I'm going to look for the opportunities in today. I'm going to look for the blessings. I'm going to embrace them. I'm going to make the best of today. Tell you what you're going to have a great day. Definitely. So that's the A. The S, the first S in passion is special. And you know these people, you've met them. You're like, you're one of them. Oh. You go out of your way to make other people feel special. Oh, thank you so much. And they don't even have to pay you to do it. Well, before you can make somebody feel special, you got to know that you're special. Yeah. But guess what? The marketing community is telling the girls to be special. You have to have a certain shape and you have to have a certain height and your hair have to be a certain color and you have to wear a certain cologne and all of that costs a lot of money and it does not make a difference. You are who you are. Yeah. The guys, the guys, we don't get up, get away telling us we got to be six foot two, we got to be 160 pounds, we got to have a six pack, we got to you know, drink a certain brand of beer, <laughs> special, and it costs money, and it's not working. Well, I'm here to tell people, there are only two reasons why you should know that you are special more than anything else in the whole wide world, and it doesn't cost you a dime. Reason number one is you were created by the God Almighty in His image. Yes. In his image. You know, the human being is the only creation that was created in the image of the creator. Correct. Every other creation was just created in their own image. But the human being, you and me, Yola, we were the only ones who were created in his image. And guess what? He only made one of you and one of me. In this whole wide world of close to 9 billion people, there is only one Yola Bastos and one Lincoln Cochran. So when you look in the mirror, see special, one of a kind, unique, more unique than a diamond. Now, you can go make other people feel special. Yeah. And that's the S. The first S. Yeah. The next S is service. People who have a passion for what they do, we don't work, we serve. Yeah. We serve, we see everything that we do as a service to our fellow man. We serve one another. We don't work, we serve, and we do it with joy. And the I is initiative. People who have a passion for what they do, Yola, they don't have to be told. Something needs to be done, they do it. It does not even have to be their job. They just do it because it has to be done. I know, you know, one of my pet peeves is people who drop their garbage all over the place. Well, I pick up other people's garbage and find a, a bin. This is, you know, take initiative and, and do it with integrity. Yes. You know, Yola, I have never met a, another human being who said to me, Lincoln, I don't have any integrity. Have you? 
<laughs> no, no. Sense. But I met a lot of people who claim they have integrity, who project that they have integrity, but they need to go back and look at what the true meaning of integrity is all about. But I learned a simple formula, a simple definition about integrity from a, an author named Alan Fine. And he said, say, do, co. Integrity is say what you're going to do, do what you said you were going to do, and communicate when you can't. And because things happen. Love it. Don't, don't just let pe and leave people hanging. Simple. Say, do, co. Say, do, co. Say what you're going to do, do what you said you're going to do, and communicate when you can't. Simple. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so that's the I, Yola. The O is ownership. Yola, this is our time. This is our world. And you know, that's one of the, another benefit of this coronavirus. It's creating common ground. Yeah. It's impacting everybody. Take ownership. Help one another. This is our world my community, my church, my home, you know, my street. My family, my friends. My family, take ownership. You know, I tell people, you're not just an employee, you're a business partner. This is not just the CEO's company, this is our company. And you're getting paid for it, come on, hallelujah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, the, and the end is never give up. And you know, I'm sure you know people, and I'm guilty of it sometimes, I used to be, where you know you have this brilliant idea and you start and you start working on it, and then the first obstacle that comes up, you quit. And then you know you have your friends or your relatives, every time you see them, they're either in a new relationship or they're trying a new weight loss program or they're looking for a new job, you know? Yeah. They give up so easy and so quickly. When people who have a passion for what they do, they don't give up. They find a way. You know, I like, be like a river. You know, the, the river flows. And when there's an obstacle, a boulder, and what does the river do? It goes around it. Or it goes under it. Or it goes over it. But it never gives up. You know, think, think about a marathon athlete who never give up. The goal is to finish the race. Fabulous. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So that's passion. That's passion. Beautiful, Lincoln. I love it. I, I've got passion. That, that word, the way you created this passion book and you explain each word is so beautiful, so powerful. And I'm sure like my, my listeners today, they will be impacted by the word that just this passion word that you yeah. brought to us today it will change people it will transform because it's beautifully spoke it's amazing i love it thank you so much wow but, but you all are dead. you know i've been teaching the workshop since 2001 i have so many great testimony of how this can i can i read the introduction to the book for you Yes, you can, of course. And this is, and the introduction is a testimonial from a young man who who was who attended the workshop, and he he wrote this, and I I printed it as the the testimonial on page three of the book, which just as he wrote it, and he said, Lincoln, thank you again for making the trip to Denver last week. As promised, I am taking a minute to email you about how your workshop on passion has improved my life. So 30 days had passed since our meeting in Phoenix and the letter I had written to my family, 13 week old daughter, had arrived in the mail. I knew what it was instantly as it was sorted out of the pile of junk mail. My wife asked, what is this? It looks like your handwriting. We opened it together and I read it aloud proudly. She then asked, is this what you've been working on? I have noticed a difference in you. Wow. I was a little stunned. I thought of the changes I'm making as internal. I was pleasantly surprised to know that my wife perceived the changes on the outside too. Thanks again for the way you bring passion into your presentations with us. It really makes a difference. 
Marvelous. Love it. You see? Yeah. It's been, a, it's been a transformational. You've been transforming people. No matter. Uh, I'm so, I'm so, even if you wouldn't share this beginning of your book with me right now, with my listeners, I knew, I knew that is happening and it's happening right now to me and it's happening right now to anyone that is listening because now they got a different way of seeing passion and understanding and then they can use it because it's simplified in a beautiful yeah. way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. Beautiful. You know, you want to think about it. We were told that we got to go to school, get an education, get a job and work hard. So what has happened is every time the word work comes up, it's associated with hard. Well, I'm, I'm telling people, fire yourself as a worker. Rehire yourself as a trusted business partner. Stop working, start performing. And do it with joy. It's important. It's oh, yeah. Important. Essential. When, for when you. people start performing with passion, look at what happens. Stress goes down. Productivity goes up. Morale goes up. Absenteeism goes down. You know, people have more joy. Customer service goes through the roof. You have repeat business. Your bottom line increases. When everybody is on the same page and the, and, and the organizations have a culture where everybody perform with passion. Totally agree. So where, just another thing out, out of the book, tell me where you from and where you where you live you live where you born or you are in a different country oh i'm i was born in trinidad and tobago yula how oh, beautiful i never been and, and that's the, for those of, of your listeners who do you look at look it up on the map it's a tiny little island it's the last island in the caribbean chain just yeah. northeast here northeast of venezuela beautiful this i tell you the I can't believe what how the Lord has led me and guided me because this island is just 75 miles north to south, 50 miles east to west, 1.2 million people. I was having a blast in that island. I was spoiled. Everybody knew me. I knew the, half of the people knew me. I knew the other half. Business came easy, but I was uh, a member of JC's International, which is now called Junior Chamber International. In 19, and I'm going to cut the story short, in 1984, I was Junior Chamber International Vice President, getting ready to campaign for Executive Vice President. Yola, I get the phone call from one of the top leaders of the organization, and he's telling me, Lincoln, uh, we know you're going to campaign for executive vice president, and we know if you campaign, you're going to win. Everybody loves you. You do a great job for us. But we need a director of training and development at the world headquarters in Coral Gables, Florida. And we would like for you to be that person. And if you agree, we will, yeah, we will make all the arrangements. And I said, what? I was not even thinking about that. That was the last thing yeah. on my mind. But guess what? Whenever I have to make any decision, I pray about it. I seek his guidance. Yes. I went down on my knees and I prayed about it. And the Lord said to me, Lincoln, you need to, a break. Because I had just gotten divorced, I lost everything. I walked away from everything. I was starting all over again. I'm not a fighter. And I don't, I don't put a lot of emphasis on material things. So I left Trinidad in March 7, 1985 and I had two suitcases in my hand landed in Miami, Florida okay. and the rest is history. I, I wrote several leadership development manuals for the organization. They sent me to 37 countries all over the world to teach their members, to teach their leaders, you know, how, you know leadership skills and project management skills. And it was a blast. It was a blast. I made a lot of friends all over the world. I learned to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> it was so good. And I imagine. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got remarried to my wife is Vilma. And we have two boys and we're living in Grayson, Georgia. 
and Amen. yep so that's my story oh so you've been living there for how long sorry like we that. moved we moved um i lived in miami i was there from 1985 to 1995 and then the company that i i was working for promoted me relocated me to houston texas i lived in houston texas for three and a half years and in 1998 i, I got another promotion and relocated to to uh, atlanta georgia oh. so i've been here since 98. oh amazing so yeah. And for my last question to you, and I'm so grateful that we've been here together. Trust me, it's been amazing. How can people get in touch or can connect with you and find more about your work? And, and well, so- I have my main website is www.hisbusinesspartners.com. Okay. Uh, and, and for my European friends, Partners is spelled P-A-R-T-E-N-E-R-S. Oh. And the bo- I have a, a, a microsite for the book, and that's very simple, with, with www.withpassionthebook.com. Okay, great. All this information will be on the prescription and description on the um, podcast website mm-hmm. so people can reach you through there straight away when your podcast will be live so and then also they can get in touch with you on facebook and linkedin right on linkedin yes they can and um Under your i would name. like to to leave with one thought okay, yeah. good. yes please do it you are the star in the movie of your life make every day an Oscar winning performance. Good. You are the star of the beginning of your life. In the movie of your life. In the movie of your life. Oh, that makes me think. (laughs) (laughs) You're a star, you're a star, Yula. Who can be a better Yula than Yula? Who can play you? Who can substitute for Yula? Only Yula can be Yula. That's so true. Yeah, totally. I agree. Fabulous. Oh, thank you so much, Lincoln. This You're welcome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I I wish you all the best. God bless you. God continuously in, uh, like give you strength and wisdom to carry on with your book and encouraging a lot of people around the world on because you are you are a keynote speaker and you've been so many in so many countries and may god li- lead you to more countries and one day you're going to be in london right in europe I yeah don't know you've been here I've been, i've been to london i've been to amsterdam so you're going to come back then <laughs> i'm available just invite me i'll be there Awesome. You take care. God bless you. And I speak with you for sure. Again, I'm sure. It's been an amazing... I hope so. We're growing our relationship and I'm sure we're going to carry on together. And I will see you again. I will see you as well. In some yeah, you will see me online t- beginning tomorrow at noon. Yes, fantastic. You take care, Lincoln. Yeah, thank you, Yola. This was wonderful. This was a blessing. Thank you. Man, thank you. Bye bye. This is the end of our session today. I really hope that you enjoy this session with my guest. I love it. Feel free to find more information about my guest and get connected with. He will be on the description of this episode. You will also find a freebie. There is always a freebie from my guest to you. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where you will be connected with Women Flicks, empowering women around the world. Get to know 
more about us. My name is Yolo Bastos, and I'm so grateful that you've been here with me and my guest on this week. I really hope I can see you next week for a new story, a new journey, a new inspiration. Take care. Bye-bye.